Hello everyone, all my lovely YouTube friends. Thank you so much for coming back to visit me. It's so nice to have you here. So I just want to show you some things and tell you some things. And so it's nice that you've come to, to watch and listen. As usual, you're looking at Pippa and John T. I've changed them, which was a really oh, hard thing to do. Not hard physically, but hard oh, psychologically, because I love those little sleepers they were in, those all-in-ones, the soft velour ones. I had them in before. Um, but I love what they're wearing now, too. So, you know, what can you do? Everything's gorgeous. It's all good fun, isn't it? So I've changed them, and I really... What I, the main purpose of this video, I think, is to show you um, what I got at the post office. I got a Daisy Duck and a Donald Duck. <laughs> Very strange things to buy at the post office. But let me show you Daisy, because she's got a beautiful purple bow on her head. There we go. There she is. Isn't she cute? She's very little. Perfect size for the babies. So I actually had seen these before when I was in the post office another time. And they weren't on sale. They were full price. And I remember thinking, oh, you never see Daisy Duck. I'd love to have her. Um, but I didn't buy them because, you know, why, you know, just silliness. So when I saw them on sale, I was digging through this big bin and I thought, oh, I wonder if there's just one daisy left. And I thought, there must be. So I just kept digging and digging, and at the very bottom, there she was. I was very happy to, to find her. And Donald was easy to find. He, he was, he's more common, I guess, so they probably made more of him. So now I've got things for Disney Monday. The only problem is it's Tuesday. I didn't have time yesterday to do a video, but maybe when you're watching it, it might still be Monday. Or maybe not by now. Never mind. These are my beautiful um, new Daisy Duck and Donald Duck that I'm very happy to have. And let me describe the baby's little bubble rompers to you. They've both got the same romper on, but it's only the trim that's different. And they're made out of a beautiful cotton, um, kind of embroidered fabric that's got little holes in it. It's not a Brodery Anglaise type fabric. It's something else. It's um, I don't think it has a specific name. But they both have little Peter Pan collars and edging the Peter Pan collar on John T's and his sleeves is a, like a, a, a grey, I guess you call it a rickrack. I think it's rickrack. And so he's got the grey trim and Pippa's is exactly the same with the pink trim. I hope you can see that. Maybe if I zoom in a bit, I, I can show you a bit better. I'll do that in a sec. And I changed their gorgeous bonnets as well. But I love these ones. They don't match, but they match their out outfits. They just don't match each other, the two bonnets. But Jonty's got a beautiful fine knit grey mohair bonnet on that fits in perfectly. And Pippa's has got a, is wearing a beautiful pink bonnet in, knitted in wool. I bought hers from our big doll show that we have at the end of July every year. There's a, a friend of mine who sells the most beautiful knitted things. Very fine, fine knits, all different sizes from, you know, things to fit little dolls, um, Victorian style, right up to baby size clothes and teddy clothes. But she makes up all her own patterns. It's a bit of the knitting that she loves the most is the, uh, like, working out the mathematics of all the different patterns to make them different sizes. She uses very fine wool. So I love going to her stall every every year and choosing something. And last year I chose a pink bonnet for Pippa and a blue bonnet for Jonty. And I think I got booties, but I can remember she didn't have one size in, maybe in the blue ones. I think I just got the pink ones for Pippa. Anyway, I'll see what she's got this year. I'm very excited for our, our next big doll fair. It's really brilliant. So that's what they're wearing. Let me just see if zooming in will get you any closer to see that little trim of rig rack. Oh yes, look at that. You can see Pippa's and Jaunty's in one. We just got out a weeny bit. Thank you, camera. You've just been so good. Really appreciate you, camera, for behaving. There, you can see the trim there on their sleeves. His is grey and hers is pink. I'll zoom back out because that's not such an exciting picture, is it? We'll go back so we can see the babies again. And Daisy and Donald. So there they are. I also just wanted to say to you just a quick something about Mother's Day. 
I had a lovely day on Mother's Day. I hope everyone had a good Sunday. Um, even in England, if it wasn't Mother's Day, I hope you had a lovely Sunday anyway. Um, but um, the thing, you know, I have four children and eight grandchildren, and all my children are married with, so I have, it's like I have eight children, because I love them all the same. Anyway, so we thought we were all together, but the thing I loved the most is, in the morning I went to breakfast with my one of my daughters and her two little girls, because their daddy and husband is away for three weeks at work, so they were on their own. So we went out very early, not even realising that Mother's Day is such a busy day and everybody goes out. We did realise that later. But it, luckily we were early enough and we got a table um, in a cafe very close to Bronnie's house, so that was really nice. But the thing that I loved the most, well, not the most, but one of the things I loved so much of that day was just strange just saying Happy Mother's Day to each other. It was so nice. It was like Christmas when everyone's nice to each other. That's what it felt like to me, especially when the men said Happy Mother's Day. It was just lovely. It just felt so like just an acknowledgement of the importance of women. I th thought it was really, really nice. I did enjoy that. had a stunning breakfast as well. My two little granddaughters knew what they were going to have before we got there. And the little one who's three, she wanted pancakes with maple syrup but that's not all. It comes with ice cream. Even though it's breakfast, it comes with ice cream and some strawberries. And and the older one, um, who's six, she wanted the same pancakes, but no maple syrup on it. She wanted to have Nutella, and that's something that the cafe does. So they plastered this really thick um, layer of Nutella on her pancakes, and she had a, a big scoop of ice cream as well. And that's breakfast, but they loved it, and they had fresh orange juice to drink, which I think would have probably tasted a wee bit sour after all that sweetness, but they loved it. It was really fun. So we had a great morning. That's how my day started. And then we all got together at my oldest son's house, and then the biggest, the biggest fun, well, I don't know if I should say that. It wasn't the biggest fun, but for me, Mother's Day... Um, 39 years ago was a very special day because my daughter was born, my oldest daughter was born on that day and every now and again her birthday falls on, mother, on Mother's Day and this year it happened again so it was her birthday as well so I went over to their house and had dinner with them and that was really lovely so I, w I was just fed all day being out, I didn't have to think about preparing any food or cleaning any food up, it was really fun so that was my Mother's Day. And, um, yeah, I know what else I wanted to show you. I, I wondered if you wanted to see my other Miola teddies that I have. I don't have many. And as I've said to a few of you in comments, I don't let myself look at, at what there is on sale because I just want them all. Every time I see them, I just want to have at least one. And I just think they're beautiful. So I don't look anymore. Except then my, my darling sweet friend Suzanne bought me those two adorable ones for Easter. Just beautiful. So I've gained two more. So let me just show you what I've got. I think, I think maybe this was the first one I bought. It's probably one that you would all know quite well. You know that this is, was her standard sort of design at the beginning. These lovely little elephants. Isn't that just gorgeous? She's just so sweet. So I think that might be my first one. Okay, so that's that one. I'm actually not in the usual room. I'm not in the baby's room because I um, there's just no light. As winter's coming on, it's really hard to find some good light. So I've put the babies into my work room in the bassinet. So lucky the bassinet's on wheels and it makes it easy. But I can see as winter comes, it's going to be harder and harder to film. So hopefully I'll be able to find good light. Okay, so that was the first thing I got. I think this was the second thing I got. And it's really been made specially for reborn babies. And it's like a little... See that? Let me show you the back. It's like a little lovey. I might put it in their bed and you can see it better. It's a, it's a rabbit. And it's grey. And it's got these... This beautiful soft um, velour, no it's not really velour, some very soft polyester type fabric on that side and the inside is a grey with white spots and the bunny is grey 
with big white ears. So I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. And that the corners are turned over with tiny pink, pink buttons. So that's that. That's my second one. Now, let me see what else I can show you. I think I got those at the same time. Because, you know, it makes postage cheaper if you buy a bit more. That's what I tell myself anyway, to justify things. And then, what did I get? I think this might have been the next one I got. Which is similar to the one Suzanne sent me, because it's on a stick. So it's like a little toy for babies. Similar to, to the one that is a full elephant as well. So there's that one. And I think at the same time, yet again to save on postage, I got this little sweet one too. It's a, like a little teddy, this one. And he wears a hat and a scarf. Isn't he cute? There's his little face. There he is. So that's my other four Miola teddies. I might put this one in, into the bassinet so you can see it. So I'll move you, Mr. Rabbit, and put him there. See if you can see him properly. There's the rabbit up here. There we are. Can you see him properly? Yes, there he is. Oh, so cute. Look, it looks adorable, doesn't he? So really that's all I wanted to tell you for today. Um, I do have a box. Not with a baby in it, but a box with something in it. So what I'll do is I'll just go and cut it open and have and prepare it and come back and show you what's inside. So thank you very much for now for joining me and I'll see you shortly. Bye everyone. So here we are back again with the box, the mystery box. This box was covered in brown paper and my dress was on the front and my friend's address was on the back and if you haven't guessed by now, that friend who sent me the box is Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies. I asked her if she wouldn't mind getting me a couple of things that I would send her the money for in the postage. I, I knew it would be a bit of bother for her because she'd have to go back up to the shops. But she showed a couple of things that I absolutely loved and she doesn't mind if I copy her. I don't mind who copies me either. We're quite happy with that. In fact, I really love seeing um, babies in other countries wearing the same things that my babies have. I think it's a lovely connection. Anyway, so she said, no, that'd be fine. She would do that for me. But I have a feeling that I didn't ask for uh, as much as what's in this box. It actually has a rattle. Let me show you. It makes a rattle. It doesn't have a rattle. It makes... Can you hear that? And I certainly didn't ask for anything that makes a noise. So I'm a little bit suspicious of what my friend has done, but here we go. It's one of those puzzle boxes, really, that are very, it's very hard to open. I um, had to kind of rip into it in the end. I just couldn't work out where the... because there are bits tucked away in the sides, and I just couldn't get into them. So anyway, here's the box, everybody. Let's go for it and see what that naughty friend of ours has done. She's a naughty girl, that's Suzanne. And I really... I just... I was hoping that she wouldn't mind doing this because every now and again I will, would like to ask her. So I made sure that she understood she wasn't to spend any money. But, hmm, she doesn't listen to me or anyone else, does she? She does what she wants to do, not what we tell her to do or ask her to do. So let me see how I should get into this. Can you see into the top of that? Are you looking at that? Yes, you can. I think I'll just have to pull things out because I didn't really discover how this box is meant to be opened. Oh, that was a bit stuck in there. <coughs> okay, excuse me. Here we go. Voice problem again. Every time I make a video, <coughs> excuse me, my voice has to be stupid. Okay, that's a plastic bag. Okay, that's nothing that is of any interest. Aha, here we go. Something that shakes, something that rattles. That was the answer. What is that? Waitrose Woodland Friends Speckled Chocolate Egg. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you, darling. That is really cute. At least we've solved that mystery. So that, we'll put that there. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Look at this cute one. This one's got a, a brown owl on it. There you are. And that makes a noise. And that's milk chocolate balls. Oh, yum. Yum, I might have to take one of those to work tonight, I think. 
That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Be something to look to. Oh, what have we got here? Look at this. What is this? Waitrose Woodland Friends. Ollie, Izzy and Friends. Oh, my grandchildren will love those. And I'll just have to pinch one or two, won't I? Made with fruit juice, it says. Apple, orange, cola and strawberry flavour. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you, darling. You're very thoughtful. Really, you are. That's so cheeky. But I guess if you're already at the supermarket, you thought you would just add something extra to the box. Now, this is something... Oh, yes. This is something I asked her to get. This beautiful, beautiful dress. Oh, my voice just changed, didn't it? It's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it's my favourite thing. Blue and white for little girls with beautiful flowers. They're smocking on the front. A little Peter Pan collar with some embroidered blue flowers on the collar. And it's by M & Co. And the knickers are included, it says on the sticker. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that little white petticoat. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Oh, that's lucky. White petticoat. And little um, nappy cover at the, as well included. Isn't that beautiful? That's just what I want. Now, this is going to be for the doll that I haven't made yet, that hopefully I'll have time to make. So I'm really excited to make her. She will be a girl, as you can see. I wouldn't put this dress on a boy. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the things I asked Suzanne to get. And I think this is the other thing. Yes, it's beautiful. I couldn't believe when she showed that she had bought this. Look at this beautiful sea cycle romper in a pink and white stripe. I'll put it on the table so you can see it in a sec. And there's a little, let's see if that's a, a shirt or a, oh, it's a little, um, a little bodysuit underneath it with a, a white bodysuit and it's got a Peter Pan collar with, oh, beautiful pink. Oh! <laughs> oh, they still join. That was lucky. <laughs> pink embroidered spots around the collar in dark pink and light pink. And it's just got little short sleeves. And the romper is adorable. Oh, my goodness. I'm dropping everything out here. This is life with one hand, isn't it? There we go. I'll just show you this a bit better. It's a little white bow across the chest and some pleats, little pin tucks at the front. Isn't that beautiful? I'll show you the back. Oh, it's gorgeous. That looks like a bit of shirring across the back. So I'll just lay that out and hopefully you can see that. Yes, you can a little bit. And the little blouse, with the oh, little bodysuit that goes underneath. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's, that's the things I asked Suzanne to get me. So uh, you may be able to see. Let me show you into the box. There. Oh, that's right. There was one more thing. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't have to nag her because I did love this set, this naughty set that she had, she had it on Freddie, and I thought I would love it to put on my doll that I haven't made yet, that doesn't exist yet. But she will, I promise you she will. So there's the naughty bib, and here's the sweet little, oh, I love it, naughty bodysuit. See that? And the trim around the legs. I'll put it on the table, you can see it better. Isn't that gorgeous? I love naughty. I grew up on naughty stories. And then he became... Um, what's it called? Politically incorrect. You couldn't talk about Noddy and Big Ears and, I mean, he had Gollywog as well, so that's not that nice. But, you know, I, I think it was kind of an innocent time when it was written. But as times change, you know, things change as well, don't they? So this is a beautiful all-in-one for my little girl. Isn't that gorgeous? I think this can be for boys or girls, and I just love the print. So that's, let me, I'll put it on the table and see if you can see it better. Now, can you see that at all? Let me have a look, at <coughs> excuse me, and see what you're seeing. Yeah, you sort of can see it. It's, um, there we go. Beautiful. So that's, that's the other thing I asked her to get. See, I've even forgotten. Now let's see what else she's tucked into the box so cheaply. I'll pull it all out. Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to cry. Oh, I'm going to cry because these are not um, made of gold things, but these are things that mean a lot because it, Suzanne has heard what I've said and the things that we can't get here, so that's what she's got me. Let me show you. That's why it means so much. It's just tissue paper, paper and all you guys will think, oh, yeah, big bloody deal. Well, we can't get patent tissue paper here. 
can't get anything but very ordinary stuff. So look what she sent me. That one's sil white with silver stars. And this one I forgot to tell you is... I think it's a very dark, like that fuchsia pink stripe on it with white. Those two. And then this one as well. This is a cute one. I think she sent me something wrapped in this before. See that? It's like a cream colour with little bears all over it. Bears with party hats and crowns on. Sorry, I wasn't holding that very well. Bears with balloons and presents. Isn't that adorable? So darling, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. It really does. Because, oh, just because it does. Now I won't want to use it. That's my next problem. I get mean and I just don't want to use the lovely things. Things that I can't replace. Anyway, so let me see. I'm pulling out what else is left in this box. Oh, oh, I'm sorry I'm seeing it before you, but uh, there's no other way to really do it. So let me show you. Ooh, I suppose you heard that. Another little crash. Luckily, it's nothing that's breakable. It's some, um, oh, four, four milk chocolate lollies. See that, like lollipops? But they seem to be made of chocolate. Yum. You know what, when I have a migraine, it's really strange. I crave chocolate and sometimes the chocolate can make the migraine go away. I know that's really weird because everyone says, oh, don't eat chocolate and don't eat oranges. They give you migraines. Well, they don't give me migraines. They're the foods I crave when I have a migraine. So I always keep a bit of chocolate around, usually just those little tiny chocolate buttons that you use in cooking, you know, for chocolate chip biscuits and things like that. And, um, yeah, so, I, so chocolate is, is a lifesaver for me. Usually the darker the better. Um, so it's very strange. I did talk to my doctor about it once and he said, well, he thinks there must be some connection but he didn't know what it was. So I'm sure, well, certainly for me and my headaches, or well, my migraines, they're not headaches, they're migraines, um, it does really help me. Sometimes if I have something salty and crunchy like peanuts, with chocolate or like a sweet drink with something salty, it helps my migraine to go away. It's very, very strange. And it doesn't work every time. Obviously, if it's a really a strong one, then nothing really works. Anyway, sorry about that little digression into migraine talk. Now, this is something else that was in the box. What is this? Fizzy strawberry lances. I wonder if that's meant to be laces. Oh, no, look, it's the owls walking on them. As though they're those kind of um, stilts that those stilt walkers walk on. Anyway, thank you, darling. They will be delicious. And my grandchildren can share those with me. And then one more thing, and this is just so cute. Look at this. Look at this. That says, Cook Shop H&H &H, Shopper Bag. My best friend may not be my sister by blood, but she's my, oh, my sister by heart. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that. Oh, darling, that's so lovely. And this is one of those bags that tucks into itself so you can have it in your handbag. I'll put this straight in my handbag and then I can use it whenever I go out shopping. I've always have got a bag with me. And also I've always got a part of Suzanne with me, haven't I? Isn't she just the sweetest woman you've ever known? Like, that's beautiful. That's so, so nice. Oh, my goodness, thank you. So now you all know what that cheeky friend of mine did. So hopefully I can still ask her to get me some bits and pieces and she won't feel like she has to put more in. She, I think she was pretty controlled this time, so I think I can ask her again if something else comes up. Because, you know, what you guys can get in your countries is so much better and so much cheaper and so different to what we can get here. You probably think that of our stuff, but our stuff is so expensive. You know, it just... I guess the, the shipping of everything to Australia because we're so far away, um, you know, maybe that's something to do with it. I don't know. But also, I mean, our labour costs are very high here. So we are used to things being expensive. There we are. Now you can see everything better. Um, so things are more expensive here because we pay our workers a reasonable amount. Um, people don't have to have two jobs to survive. You know, one job is enough. Touch wood, it stays that way. I don't know if we're going to, you know, if the country's moving away from that, but everyone wants it to be fair for everybody else in, in Australia. So anyway, so yeah, so so to see the things that 
that you guys can get. And when Suzanne showed the beautiful purchases she'd made for, well, it seemed to me like for next to nothing, I, I did ask her if she wouldn't mind going back to, to the shops and picking up those things for me. And I just sent her the cash, which is so easy to do with PayPal, isn't it? And you pick your currency and she can have the right amount and everything. So this is what she's done for me. And my special shopping bag, which I will have with me always. And my chocolate for my head lollies for my children uh, and I will take one of these rattle boxes with me to work tonight because that will be yummy to munch on and keep me awake hopefully um, so darling thank you very much and thank you everyone so much for joining me I know this has been a massively long um, video but I, I if you didn't stick with it that's fine I understand I know what it's like um, but if you did then thank you so much everyone it's just lovely having you all here in my house with me. I really enjoy it. I love yakking to you. Um, and so can I just say thank you very much for being here at my house with me. And also please everyone just take care. And remember please be kind to each other. Thank you for being here. Bye bye everyone until I see you again. Bye bye. Thank you Suzanne. I love you darling. Thank you. Bye.